Hello, and guess what? My friend Ashley called really early this morning, and she was freaking out because she had this strange waffle dream where waffles were growing on trees and there were rivers of maple syrup, and she's dying for some waffles. And so I said, come on over, I'll have some for you as soon as you get here. She'll be here in a few minutes, and I'm gonna make it like I had just slaved all morning in the kitchen with waffles, but we're just gonna pop these into the toaster oven. Let's see. Now, while those are baking away in the toaster oven, I'm gonna give you a brief history on the waffle. As with bread, the ancestor of the waffle emerges in the Neolithic age as a rustic hot cake made of cereal pulps cooked on heated stones. The Iron Age brings iron tools, including the iron plate or griddle. Humans can now make the equivalent of griddle cakes or pancakes. Ancient Greeks cooked these flat cakes called oblios or wafers. Early waffle irons were made up of two metal plates connected by a hinge and equipped with long handles used to hold the apparatus over the fire. Designs on the plates not only decorated the flat cake, but allowed it to cook quickly and more evenly. The iron got more ornate too, as the simple honeycomb pattern was replaced by more ornamental patterns, religious symbols, and even coats of arms. The oubli becomes the waffle in the 1200s, when a craftsman has the idea of forging some cooking plates or irons that reproduce the characteristic pattern of honeycombs. The old French for waffle, waffle, means a piece of honey beehive. Here is one of the first images of a waffle in a painting done in 1464. I don't know why he has them on his head or what the dice rolling is about. Hmm, strange. In 1620, Dutch waffles come to America with the pilgrims who spend time in Holland prior to sailing to America. And in 1869, Cornelius Swarthout of Troy, New York, a Dutch American, receives a patent for the first waffle iron in the U.S. on August 24th. In 1911, General Electric introduces the first electric waffle iron, and by the 1930s, waffle irons become standard kitchen appliances. Electric waffle irons continued to be improved, but for some time they still weren't easy enough. And in the mid-1930s, three brothers, Frank, Troy, and Sam Dorsa, invented a machine that could crank them out by the thousands and then freeze them. Kellogg bought the company in the 1970s, and soon after that, Lego My Ego became a phrase known throughout the country. In 1964, Belgian waffles debuted at the New York World's Fair with recipes for waffles with strawberries and whipped cream. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, uh, that brief history of the waffle. I think she's going to be here any second. Oh, here she comes. Let's get these out of the toaster. Hot, hot. Hot, 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 hot. Here we go. Mm, some maple syrup. Waffles, yeah, we like waffles. Do you like pancakes? Yeah, we like pancakes. Do you like French toast? Yeah, we like French toast. Get, 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 get